Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to the uh, final game in our in the Bioshock series for now. Because, uh, yeah, welcome to Bioshock Infinite. Um, as usual, in the, well, in my Bioshock playthroughs, I have played the game before, obviously, uh, quite a few times actually, because this is a Let's Replay. Uh, we're gonna go through the game as thoroughly as possible. I'm gonna try to explain a lot of things along the way. Uh, whilst also making sure I won't spoil anything. So this will be a spoiler-free playthrough. I will hint at things to come, but I won't spoil anything before it actually happens. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, here we go. New game, let's go for hard again, because uh, we did that with Bioshock 1 and 2 as well. And uh, let's get right into it. And there's the uh, Bioshock Infinite logo slowly breaking down. Okay. Similar as the uh, other Are you did. Of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to transdimensional travel are Lutes 1889. And then 1912, on the coast of Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. I imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. So we are Booker Perhaps DeWitt. You Bring him. her to New, he has New a York and in harm. there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We don't, obviously. Not at this point, anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, the, arrived. those two people, a gentleman and a lady, rowing us towards yet another lighthouse. And our name is Booker DeWitt. This is interesting, because I'm going to just... He's not moving! There we go. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Because there's a few lines of dialogue that pop up while we're still sitting in the boat and not reacting to anything. So yeah, no response. So very stormy, very stormy day. Let's climb the ladder and uh, head towards the lighthouse. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Yeah, maybe there is. Because those two clearly know who I am, so Book of the Wit, we are. Um, but we don't know them, because they were marked as a gentleman and a lady. But we are Book of the Wit, 7th Cavalry at Wounded Knee, said the box we were given, which contained a, well, a gun. A key, if I'm not mistaken, a picture of a girl, Elizabeth, and uh, a few markings. So there's nothing here, if I'm not mistaken, because there's a few things you can walk around with too, but... Oh, we can actually search this. There we go. Coins in the cushion. So I think you get a trophy once you found uh, 200 coins into containers like that one. And yeah, there they go. Goodbye. Stranded on this little island with this lighthouse. Let's go inside. The wit bring us the girl Excuse and me. wipe away the it's debt. Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me. So Bioshock Infinite. This is a rather different game than the previous ones, and it's heavily based on. Just as a warning, it's uh, heavily teamed towards racism and uh, well, religion is uh, the main theme. So there we go. Of thy sins shall I wash thee. So there's a baptism uh, basin here. And there we go, her lovely face. 
Booker has a mind of his own. Good luck with that, pal. So indicating that he has a lot of sins he doesn't want to talk about. Um, there we go. More stuff from Sodom. Shall I lead thee? Is anyone here? Hello? Also the first time our main character in a Bioshock series talks. So uh, we have, well, you have a little bit more to listen to than just my lovely voice. And there's a, a lot of music going on, but I think most of those songs are just... Well, they're covers of existing songs, but I don't think that will uh, be a problem for me. Use the telephone. Hello? Just a uh, little tone, so not in there. Be prepared, he's on his way, you must stop him. See, there's a... Uh, a red line going all around America, which is interesting, right? And there's a departing schedule here, departing and returning schedule. So something is making stops around America. But we don't know what that is at the moment. And then it looks like there has been a struggle here and some blood. I don't think there's anything else around here that we can check out. Uh, aside from the fact, yeah, somebody had a fight here and there's blood along the walls as well to thine own land shall i take thee a bloody handprint on the wall and there we go that's a lovely sight isn't it shit don't disappoint us so we need to bring the girl back to our uh, well employer some is just going to pick up the money here uh, don't disappoint us Booker, so we need to bring Elizabeth, the girl we had on the picture, back to whoever gave us this, uh, well, assignment. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Sounds like uh, biblical uh, references, not that I'm an expert on that thing. But uh, here we go, three bells and those symbols might look familiar if you paid attention up until now. We see a few cities in the distance there. But that's about it. So let's uh, use the bells. Wait a minute, that card. There we go. Once the scroll, twice the key, and then twice the sword. So the scroll, once, twice the key, and twice the sword. There we go. What in the world is... Yeah, indeed. So something is responding. With the same melody we just used. The sky is turning red. You would think that somebody would notice the fact that the sky is turning red. And now the lighthouse responds in a similar manner to something that was calling us from the sky. It's kind of a bit of a musical, isn't it? And there we go, something opened up. And this face might be familiar, he has wings, but this uh, kind of looks like, I think it's Benjamin Franklin. Kind of looks like Benjamin Franklin, right? There we go, let's... All right, looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Indeed, Booker, we need to sit down in the fancy chair. But it looks like it has some restraints on it, but uh, yeah, here we go. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And I'm assuming the chair is doing this. A pressurized chamber. And there goes our gun. Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. Three. Two. Two. One. Ascension. So we are going up. With jet engines. So of course if you've seen this the intro cinematic for uh, Bioshock 1, this looks familiar. Albeit in a different direction. Hallelujah. There we go. Welcome to Bioshock Infinite, guys and girls. And yeah, what goes up eventually must go down again. That, well, it kind of feels like there's a parachute that now deployed. 
Because I don't think we can actually see that. So this is a lovely city, isn't it? Welcome to, well, it's not really a spoiler. Welcome to Columbia. Father Comstock, our prophet. So it seems like he's the leader of this uh, city. And there we go. Settling in. Because this, uh, well, rocket propelled way of going into the city is... Well, why would he send his savior onto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And thou, though we deserved not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. There we go. And there's a very interesting song playing in the background. I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. But it's... Uh, Let the circle be unbroken. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Which is where, of course, we are. And the prophet being uh, Father Comstock. By and by. I love this song. And there we go, our health bar for the very first time. And here we go. I love how this first level... Well, I love this, this entire game, but this is just amazing. Find a way into the city. Let the circle be unbroken. So angels with swords, and then of course Father Comstock leading his people to Columbia. So the city we are at right now. And look at this place. A little bit of water on the floor. Shouldn't be, isn't really handy for people visiting, but... Pick up some money while we're at it, the word of the prophet. So he's uh, clearly regarded as a very important person. The seed of the prophets shall sit the throne and drown and flame the mountains of men. So the seed of the prophet might... Well, the seed must be his uh, one of his children. A lovely statue. And now we're in the welcome center, clearly. And there's flowers all around. And there we go, there's a statue of a woman here as well. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. So that must be the wife of the prophet, so... The prophet clearly can take a wife. Confession? Do we need to confession? Nah, I'm just gonna take all the money there is. Because uh, money is very important in this game. There's not... Uh, well, I'm gonna explain that later on, but there's a... The system is a little bit different than we, we are used to in Bioshock games. And these are the audio diaries. So, voxophones are the audio diaries of Bioshock Infinite. So let's... let's listen, shall we? Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. So she, so that's Lady Comstock herself, so uh, Comstock's wife, talking about the, well, the use of the prophet and the fact that he is so important for this city. But I'm gonna check the, uh, the setting screen just in case I can. Uh... It's a bit weird that there are no subtitles for those audio diaries, so give me a second. Sadly, no setting to enable subtitles for Foxer phones. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Yeah, because we don't want to make everybody suspicious of why we're here. And then the Lamb, the future of our city. So that's the seed of the Prophet, clearly. Um, and his child is the future of this city. Let's take a look around. Just gather up everything we can get. There we go. Nothing in the fiddle case. Anything else? Looks like there is more money over here, stealing everything we can. Because, uh, as I said before, we're gonna need it. Okay, there we go. That's good. Let's go uh, past that man. So, as Booker already said, we don't want to get made that we don't know what Columbia is, that we don't. Well, we don't want to tell them that we got here by accident. So, Gladium, the sword again. So, that's Latin for sword then the key and then 
of course the scroll so the same three symbols we saw before look at this i mean and every year on this day of days we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet father comstock we recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism and lo if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just so yeah, he goes on the Orient, for a while not suffered the sacrifice telling us what the prophet beloved, did before he uh, became if the leader the prophet had just of, uh, the sacrifice of his beloved, Colombia. Wow, that is loud. This path of forgiveness is the only way to the city. Enough. So yeah, he did a lot. And if he wouldn't have done it, it would also have been enough. So there's a lot of people here. They're slowly coming in as well. Um, and these waters of baptism are the only way into the city. It's the second time we've seen the uh, baptism team. Because, um, yeah, of course, when we entered the lighthouse, there was already a basin there as well. But yeah, let's enter the circle. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below. The Sodom come below. to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? We don't really have much choice. Glory be. We know Booker doesn't want Come to do this. And, and the preacher, the preacher waiting over here, talked uh, about the Sodom below. So they consider everybody from the world below well unclean. So let's accept baptism. Here we go. Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Um, excuse me. And then they proceed to start drowning me. And we get something else. Very interesting. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt. So what do you want? wipe away the debt. To it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. So this this Go desk away. is a, an enormous Mr. piece of exposition. So we have racing tickets, so he's betting on races, which is probably where his debt comes from. So the race form. And then, of course, we have his badge, indicating that he was a, a police officer of some sort. And then a lot of booze and cigarettes. Well, and especially next to his bed, indicating that, yeah, things didn't go so well for Booker. And this door indicates that he investigations into matters both public and private. So he was a private investigator after he became a police officer. But uh, let's open the door. Because this is a bit weird, because we're not in Colombia anymore. Or are we? Look at this. So that's Colombia up there. And we're in New York City. Getting attacked by Colombia. But that looks like kind of a vision. And there we have the Founding Fathers. With, well, the key. Um, so I think, yeah, we're going to go through this in a second. So Benjamin Franklin, Father that Franklin with the key. needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. So there we go, baptizing man and drowning one. So we are uh, at the other end of the river. And then we have uh, Thomas Jefferson with the scroll. And then Father uh, Washington, so uh, the first president of the United States. At, uh, who has the sword. 
And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father Comstock. I love this little so little garden because the there's, are, there's hummingbirds all over the place as well, which is really a really nice detail. A really nice detail. But let's continue on. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. Yeah, indeed. That's, that's something he did. So let's eat the apple because we uh, we kind of lost a bit of health because we uh, well we kind of almost died over there. But here we go. Um, let's pick up every piece of fruit we can find. Hello, hello. Do you have he anything to say? Across the Delaware, with flaming sword and wings of angels, watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear so and doubt. So up there is where we so entered. Hold fast and this is, invaders. look at this place. What is Columbia if not Washington. another ark for another Hear time? What is Columbia if not another ark for another time? So it's the same, the same both ways. Let's uh, move a bit Paragon further. A virtue, a rebel against ignorance so they really, really Should like their sword? prophet, which is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, no obvious by now. Amen. And there we have Just the same the seed of the prophet quote again. Sure fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. Indeed, Booker. We still have a girl to find. So let's open up this door. Because this... This is our first real view into... Uh, look at that. Into Colombia. And very familiar music. Because it kind of... It starts on the same notes as the Bioshock music. When you first enter uh, Rapture, but a little, a little bit more uh, happy, a little happier than the the Rapture music. And there we go, connecting the two uh, floating islands. And let's uh, look around for the food. Salt. So that's an indicator that there's gonna be something else in health. Good to see. Can I uh, eat popcorn? There we go. Popcorn and a hot dog, and that almost fills us up. The full Perfect hell. For the another statue of uh, Father Comstock. And there we go, we have the another shop coming in. That Furs and dresses. Hudson's. And I actually want to enter that building because there's something in there. But it takes a while for it to dock. Um, it's, so the trash can. So faith, family and fatherland, so the virtues that Colombia is built on. Because uh, Colombia is very patriotic, if you haven't noticed by all the the kind of America-looking flags. But they're not American flags, as you can see, because Colombia has its own flag. Repairing fine custom work, a speciality, I think there's, yeah, more popcorn and money. There we go. And then let's go inside, because I think there's... Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the you people here are uh, assholes. Yes, assholes. And they're all, they're all um, Caucasian, as you might have noticed already. Because yeah, that is, that is very interesting. Um, I think there is one behind here. There was another voxophone in here. There we go. Pick up the voxophone. From Father Comstock himself. And then the Archangel showed a vision. A city. Lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? So, uh, Mr. Comstock talking about his uh, little talk with an angel. And then we have these things. We haven't seen these in Bioshock before. But they're little, uh, little movies created by Fink MFG. 
and they all uh, are basically propaganda for Father Comstock. So Father Comstock's gift of prophecy. Let's check these out. The word of the prophet presents Father Comstock's gifts of prophecy in the midst of the darkest storm. There we have that big statue, that big angel statue we've seen before. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine and lo, it appears. What will the great prophet reveal next? There we go, our prophet. So yeah, little, little propaganda movies. Fan, so the end. And we need to check most of them if we want to have the trophies for them as well. Um, so another interesting thing about that is they actually see Comstock as a god because he, he can manipulate the weather apparently. But let's keep moving because that foxophone and that kinetoscope was what I needed. Fox Populi, that. Now, what does Fox Populi even mean, for heaven's sake? The voice of the people. Uh, it's Latin. It means. Latin. <laughs> it's Latin for the voice of the people. So, that's the first indication that we have of a group calling themselves the Fox Populi. So, the voice of the people. There's a children playing with the water. So, why they pop the fire hydrant. And then we have this interesting thing. Because, uh,. I might have to, to mention this, but 1912 is actually a lot earlier than uh, Bioshock 1 and 2 is setting, because that's the 1940s, 50s, 60s, I think. So this is 50 years before Rapture. And there's a mechanical horse here. So Easter, Peyton, Lane, Easter, and Sun. So making these, uh, making these horses. So the angel Columbia came to Comstock, gave him a vision of the future, and he created the city as we see it now. And then his child is locked in a tower, that uh, that thing said, because she in the tower is the future of the city, but we can't really see a tower from here now, can we? Columbia Raffle and Fair. There we go, that sounds like fun, the Raffle and Fair. Let's head over there. And take a look around everywhere we go to take money. Strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key of the scroll. You get my meaning. So they uh, they're talking about the virtues, of course. So uh, sword is strength, and then the key and the scroll are the well intelligence and everything. System. Put money in the basket. Founders bless you. And now, and we can actually take that money if we want to, but I don't think there's anybody here to see that, so I might as well take it, nobody seems to mind, there we go, and then we can check out everything in here, let's turn that off for now, just in case, and let's uh, take everything here, because uh, now we have full health again and we can, uh, well, get on with our journey. Is this girl? The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb astray. So a man or a woman in a black cloak with a D on his or her hand. And of course the lamb signifies the girl. And now we have that angel statue over there again. Beware the false shepherd. Here we go. So beware the false shepherd. The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb astray. But who is this false shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Is it him? Is it you? So that might be interesting. So nobody knows who the false shepherd really is, but they're all afraid of him. Only our vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. And there we have the statue again. There we go. Sightseer 2 out of 37. Let's continue, because there's, I think there's a flower shop over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, flower spotted plants. And there we have, gold only knows by, uh, how are they called again? 
something bees. Colombia's gayest quartet. The music of tomorrow today. Because if you listen carefully, you might recognize this um, song. God only knows what I'd be without you. Because that's, of course, a, a very, very familiar song that we know. Indicating that there might be something, something else playing here. I'm not going to spoil anything yet. Here? We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. One in my lapel. No, thank you. But I think there is something else around here. Yeah, there we go. Another uh, voxophone. There we go. Oh, cheese. I ate the cheese. I am so sorry for that. But I think that's a wallet. Yeah, there we go. Pick up the voxophone. Another one of Comstock himself. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out. Born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. So that's actually interesting. So that's um, the same principle of Schrodinger's cat, but twisted a bit. So uh, the principle of Schrodinger's cat is uh, the fact that if a cat is in a box, you don't know whether it's alive or dead. So at that point for you, it's both. It can be both alive and dead. So he Comstock makes the well the similar assumption that when you're being baptized you're both a sinner and not a sinner at the same time because you're in between states. There's a, a lot of this in this game as well because it's pretty pretty science heavy this game. But uh, I'm not going to spoil too much of course. So let's continue because we need to go to the raffle and fair. That kind of talk draws attention. Oh, don't turn into some finked and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popula, now do I? So they're afraid of uh, giving a certain opinion here, which is interesting. And there we have the angel statue. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. There we go, Monument Telegram, Island. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. How would we get a DeWitt, telegram? Stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. So never pick number 77. Be aware. And do not let Comstock know you're here. And that it was signed by Lutess. We have heard that name before in this uh, episode already. Because the beginning quote about um, making memories where there are none was also by an R. Lutes, which is interesting. And then, of course, now we know that the lamb is inside of that statue, because um, that statue is Monument Island. So the tower protects the lamb from the false shepherd. And I want to show you something, because this is this is really interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just uh, use the telescope. So I'm gonna use the silver eagle on the telescope. And now we can take a look around, so we can actually look at the statue. But the more interesting thing is over there. So there's a couple, a man and a woman, while well, juggling. Juggling balls. Um, there's not much else around here. We can take a closer look at the statue and the, the, the buildings and the firework over there. But that is actually the interesting thing. That couple over there. Because if we exit the telescope, there's nobody there. Which is... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to... Well, go further on that topic, but there's nobody there. Those two are just uh, very, very mysterious. There's a couple over there making out, so... Um, but now, more interesting good stuff. You, sir. Hello. Yeah, good day to you too. Marlowe's patented vigors. Murder of crows proven deterrent against hooligans. And there we go, we have... A very, very interesting uh, display over here. I'm just going to take a look around here because I think there's a trash can with some stuff. Just more food. I'm just going to go over here. Just don't want to miss any corner of this place. And the gate towards the raffle over here is actually closed off. Don't let me through here, pal. Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again. Roadblock. 
Better find another way around. Okay, thank you, officers. I won't disturb you any longer. So let's head up the stairs. And now we have these uh, fancy bubbles with some uh, interesting, interesting symbols on top of them. You might recognize those from previous games. Because this is uh, the version of plasmids we uh, have in Bioshock Infinite. If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. So, vigors. So, uh, special powers similar to uh, plasmids in the previous games. But you can, uh, yeah, check this out. Because there's, there's uh, we're starting to get into the raffle and fair over here. But before we continue, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys, Nomsi, for watching. When we come back, we're going to try out a few of these vigors. Because that's what these uh, stands are for. And uh, we'll have a bit of fun that way. So, thanks again. No mercy for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me?